Okay, so to summarize what we've done, we have the derivative as a matrix of partial derivatives, where the columns of this matrix correspond to the inputs and the rows correspond to the outputs. More explicitly, the kth column of the derivative is the rates of change of those outputs with respect to the change in the kth input. And because the derivative is a linear transformation, the output rates of change are really a linear combination of these columns scaled by the rates of change of the inputs. Now at this point, be careful people, caution. We've been talking about uh, rates of change and vectors and change and change, change, change. These are not explicit changes to the inputs or the outputs. They are rates of change. You can think about them infinitesimally. You can think about them tangentially. If you want to know what happens when you actually change the inputs by a small amount, we're going to need to use differentials. We're going to need to think of the derivative as a linear approximation, something we're going to do later in chapter 11.